Ugh. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and reptilian alike? My name's Scythe, and today we're going to be playing some card life. This is going to be... Well, for these first few videos, I'm going to be introducing it like this, but basically what I'm doing is I'm doing this video as a live stream, so you might see dips in quality here and there. It's not going to be entirely consistent. Also, the game audio might be up or down. But it's a nice way that I can just get these videos out to you guys right away, let you see some good games. And, uh... Not have to devote my time to making an entire series of it, as it were. So this is Card Life. Uh, I did actually play the alpha version of this game. It seems to have come a long way. It's actually uh, got on Steam now. I like how it says continue, but... Let's just host a single player world and... Uh, see how this ends up playing out. So everything in this world is made of cardboard. It did seem like a really interesting game. It's actually being made by the uh, same devs behind Robocraft, which seems kind of weird that they would work on a game like this. But it's basically like another Minecraft type of game. You know, open world, enemies, XP, crafting, lots of crafting. But it's got some interesting mechanics. Uh, back when I was playing the alpha version, it was very unstable. So hopefully it's come a little bit further. It seemed like it did on the title screen. That actually looked quite beautiful. And I know that there's like there's proper online and you can be playing on servers and stuff. And the thing that's all cool about this game is that almost everything's custom. So you can actually like cardboard cut out your own character. And like, whoop, the game just minimized for me. Oh, there we go. But you can cardboard cut out yourself and like if you craft a bed, you can design the way that it looks. Actually here, this is a prime example. So uh, draw a shape. Let's make cube guy, right? And then we got to cut out his eyeballs. So let's just, there we go. Easy. There we go. It's gotten a lot better, I do got to say. Like, it used to be pretty bad. There we go. Yes. It was. It, it used to end up being, like, it was pretty unstable before. With uh, creating your character. There, that's, that's the front of my character. Skeleton man. Still, it's definitely gotten a lot better. This is pretty cool. Is it a skeleton or... That's pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> Idiot. Oh man, how do I go to third person? Whoa, frame rate's actually a lot better than the alpha version, that's for sure. Punch down a tree. I got it. I got it. Meh, meh, meh. He's like a little kid. I love it. So when you're chopping down trees, the cool thing is you quite literally have to chop a hole in it like that. And then, blank, there it goes. There's all the items. Oh, good. Grabbing items is a lot easier than it used to be. That's nice. They also seem to have achievements. That's good. Reward is a torch. Left mouse button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I know how to use a torch. It's okay. Um... Tool up. Craft a wooden hatchet. A wooden hatchet requires grass and more trees. Which, thankfully, we knew. Hunger management. Eat strawberry to reduce hunger. That was, that was one of the things that I thought was a little bit weird about this game. Like, I'm a cardboard character, and yet it's a survival game where I actually got to worry about starving. Right? Like, why? Where is... I haven't gotten a single blueberry. Maybe I gotta get it from a different bush. Yeah, this is just giving us fiber. Where is... Sound is a little bit loud, I'm noticing. But that's the thing. It's, like, really cool visually... And kind of an interesting concept. Most of all, you could play it online with your friends, obviously, is the appeal. 
but you know this is kind of why i remember from the alpha like there's not really that much gameplay or uh direction i mean at least with now there's a lot more direction now obviously okay we can make the hatchet here we go so we could craft it ourselves i'm just gonna make i i don't even care eh. come on there we go <laughs> Yes, the perfect axe. <laughs> That's definitely the biggest draw to it. And now that we have the axe, it uh, chops down a thicker area in the tree. And it seems to still be a little bit broken with chopping stuff down. Hunger management. Okay, that's the next thing that they want us to do. So let's go and explore. Seeing bushes uh, kind of up over here rather than in the desert. Or the beach, I guess. But there was like, even in the alpha version, like it seems like they know what they're doing. I mean, it's just kind of a standard game. Like there doesn't, doesn't really have, seem to be that much uh, unique gameplay to it other than it's just cardboard. And I'm not trying to down the game. I'm not saying that it's bad or by anything like that. It's just for me, like I, that's why I'm not really going to make like a full series of something like this. Can I not? Why won't he eat? Is it because I have to... You are stuffed and can eat no more. Oh, I see. It's just something we put on our hotbar. And then press the button and then it does its thing. Okay. Nighttime was a little bit gross. Uh, near as I remember. But let's see. And then this one I'm going to make look like an axe. There we go. Yep, there we go. The perfect pickaxe. <laughs> At least you can make your stuff look stupid. I like that. That's the biggest appeal to it, is all of the custom stuff. Um, oh, they just gave us a pickaxe anyway. Hunger management. Uh, crafting arm. Wait, what is this? Craft a sword and defeat a creature and eat its raw meat. Okay. How do I craft a sword? I need more oak wood. Great. This game's got different tiers of wood, not just the ones that were out in the desert. Oh my gosh. I better get a lot out of this. See, another thing too that I personally really didn't like about chopping down trees is you can kind of see like if we do it this way... It's easier because I can just literally hold left click as opposed to if I stop and I methodically go into this spot, we're going to ultimately end up saving time chopping down the tree. But that's something that's a little bit too meticulous for me to bother doing. I'm just trying to say that there is a difference. It's going to save your durability and in the long run is going to end up having the tree chopped down faster. Obviously, the higher grades of tools, uh, the thicker the destruction will end up being. Okay, how much wood do we get out of this? Because that's gigantic. That's redwood. That is not even oak. Dang it. Oh, redwood counts too. Okay, so it doesn't matter what type of wood we use. We just use whatever. Cool. What game is this? Card Life. It's This is pretty much all it is. Like is. We're going to do a couple of the starting quests. People have been wanting me to play this for a while because I actually played the alpha and it seems to have come a long way. Most of all, the stability is what I'm noticing. That's the biggest change. Because I remember there was huge frame rate dips back when I was first playing it. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> That's my sword. In fact, it's just a club. <laughs> I do like that a lot. I like the, like, what, customizing your weapons is so good. Oh, yeah, we could be using that to, hmm, the sickle for chopping down the plants and junk. All right, let's go see if we can beat something with our stupid sword. There was a button that could go into third person, too, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, hey, we actually got a piece of armor. Can I... What? Oh. 
Yeah, collect the item. There we go. Jeez. Okay, where's uh, where's the key bindings? There's a map. Okay, that's interesting. Um, journal. And toggle third person. F8. Bloop. Aha! <laughs> he looks so stupid. Can I get... Uh, I wanted to have the camera behind uh, in front of me so I could take a look at my character. The third person camera is a lot better than it was originally, too. But the world's just as dead. You are hungry. Oh, no. And you literally just spam food to eat it. Uh-oh. Crab battle. All right, man. You're going down, Mr. Crab. Come here, you. Ha! So they actually seem to have health bars on the enemies. The combat has not improved since the alpha. It's just as bad. I'm just going to stand in his face, like, seriously. Eat the raw meat. Oh, I can't because I'm already full. Oh, that's how we can get the camera behind us. Ha ha! Screenshot time. Kind of want to get to the top of the cliff. I love these Sakura trees, though. Like, the game's definitely pretty. And kind of has its, like, general appeal. And the thing, too, I guess I should show. Like, you can dig. I don't know why this game's being all glitchy with uh, all my controls and stuff. But either way, it's still cool that we can dig into the environment. And I, I like that they actually have this tool now. Uh, like the tool tip that shows the area with which you're digging. And it's very subtle. Because it used to be a lot more intrusive, if I recall. Oh, a beautiful gazelle. There's also a crab over there. I'm guessing to beat that thing, we would need to have a bow. Right? I mean, I fight it anyway. Come here, you stupid deer. <laughs> Oh, it fights back. Of course, I should have known that a deer would fight me back. <laughs> like, what? Come on. Come on. Yeah, that was something that plagued the alpha as well. Still seems like certain plants are a bit glitchy. But it definitely has come a long way, that's for sure. I think it might still be in alpha now, if it's not in beta. I remember one of the big things they kept advertising, or kept mentioning over and over, was how the T-Rex the and the mech that they had in their title shot was not actually, like, a part of the game. Let me actually... Here we go. Yes! It is a cardboard world. A cruel world. Hey, we got an upgraded stuff. At least they're giving us new gear right away. That's that's something that they desperately needed, which is very nice. I don't know the hotkeys to like grab these items and swap them back to our uh, other inventory right away, though. Okay, uh, no place like home. Place a wooden foundation to start building. Where is this foundation? Oh my gosh, that's a little... That's a little too many things, isn't it? Square wood foundation? Sure. I'll just take a generic one. I don't care. Whoa. It's just outright a rock helmet, not even cardboard. But at least we'll get to see the building, which is cool. Uh, place a wooden door. All right, you know what's faster than that? Just typing in door. There we go. So we need a lot more wood for that. This is this is kind of what I remember is this game is just... You require, like, so many resources in order to end up crafting a house. Which is fine. Like, it, you know, my, my small criticisms for this game is just criticisms that I have for any game like this. Like, because what can I say? Like, Minecraft isn't my favorite type of game. I prefer the adventuring rather than the whole crafting aspect. Go into the ground. At least gathering all these items is way easier. Hey, they didn't let me choose that door. They didn't let me craft that at all. So it's got this nice snap feature as well, which I really like. It's just generally 
very easy to manage, you know? I like how they're at least giving us, uh... You are stuffed and can eat no more. Hunt a wolf, craft stone squire armor, and defeat a creature that eats and, and eat its raw meat. Oh, we're still trying to do that part of the quest. Here we go. And then... Uh... No, I want it on the other side. Yep. Come. <clears throat> there we go. My house is complete. Now, can I place this torch on something? The fire looks pretty cool. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> My house is done. <laughs> well, either way, um... I don't know if there's any much uh, much else to show about this game. It's still really neat. Uh, I still very much enjoy the idea. Oh, look, you can create things and then have people upvote and downvote them and favorite them. That's interesting. But it's definitely a cool game, and I do recommend keeping an eye on it. Maybe not necessarily buying it just yet, because there's not really that much going for it. There, There might be, you know more in terms of like going out and hunting and slowly getting yourself up there it would definitely be a game that you could play with friends and that would be a lot of fun because then you'd progress very fast because you could all gather resources but playing it solo i personally have no interest in it you know maybe if they added a little bit more action to it it'd be something that would be more approachable for me but either way that's card life and i do want to give a shout out to the devs because they did uh, originally contact me about playing their game in the first place and then they gave me a copy of the steam version and there is still the possibility that i could end up playing this game in the future but as of right now it's just kind of like eh not enough to do <laughs> but anyways thank you guys and gals for watching very much appreciate it hope you enjoyed and if you did be sure to leave a like sub notification bell you know all that stuff there's links down below where you can end up supporting me sign on stay epic